Yo, Israel, yo, come on, I got something to show you, man. Come on. Take a seat. Here we are, man. Welcome. Um, a big welcome to all our, our, our family out there worldwide. God bless you. Uh, may a higher bless you and keep you. You know, we're here today to talk about BAM! Apparel. That's right, we're talking about apparel that I've been making for our, our, our members, for our family. And um, we're just gonna break it down a little bit today, man. So if you have any questions, just shoot. All right, so how long have you been into making garments for? I've been making clothes um, all together about 18 years now, you know. Um, yeah. I was, I was making secular clothes first of all, you know what I mean? And who knew that the most high was preparing me? To make clothes for the family for Yasharat, as you can see, one thing yeah. led to another, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, 100 percent So, where did that lead to? You said you started on cruise ships, yeah, and how did that happen? Well, I was on the cruise ship, and we used to go to Morocco every week. We went there 12 times, it was weekly cruise, you know, we go to Morocco every week, you know, yeah, and I'd buy a piece of leather because I, I don't know, I had it in my mind to make something anyway, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't mm -hmm. sew by that time, I, I couldn't, you know. But, um, you know, I started hand sewing first of all, because I didn't have no sewing machine on the ship. So I started to hand sew. So I'd go to the market every week, get a piece of material, then I'd make a long leather coat. I mean, my fingers were red raw with the needles when I was sewing, you know what mm. I mean? And so when I came back to England, I got a sewing machine and started slowly but surely. And, you know, one thing led to another. Yeah. Yeah. So was that the main thing that you were doing at the time or was it just like a hobby a hobby and it still is a hobby you know because i'm self-taught i mean i didn't go to school to learn this i mean the most i was bestowing the holy spirit in me to do this really and truly as i say he was preparing me yeah um for what i'm doing today you know what i mean i didn't know i was gonna start making clothes i mean i, I, I just started to make a coat for myself <laughs> <laughs> no that, that's good that's good so so how did you actually come up with the concept to do it for the body because I made something for my, my, myself one time and then um, I went to one of the feast days and someone yeah. said they like, they, they like my top, I said okay, uh, can you make me one? And so I said oh, okay, fair enough, you know what I mean, let's give me the money for the the fabric and the accessories and I'll, you know, I'll put it together for you, you know, and then the next person said the same thing and so on and so on and so on. So it just built from there. And before you know it, you know, it was just, it was just crazy, as you can see now. Yeah, praise the most high. So, what is your overall objective with the clothing? My overall objective, well, it's to make Israel look good. Mm -hmm. You know, don't forget when we was in the world, we used to look good in our Versace, our Marnie Calvin <laughs> Klein, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. So, we're for the most high now, why can't we look royal? If it's not royal, as my elder said, if it's not royal, it's captivity. If it's not royalty, it's captivity. Okay, okay don't forget Solomon, you know. Mm -hmm. How did Solomon look? Solomon had beautiful apparel, even the thread, the, that was that made his garments with gold. Mm. I mean, that just tells you, you know what I mean? So why can't we, we're, we're, uh, we're family. So our family got to look like this, come on, man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so do you think it's important for people to utilize their gifts as you have for yeah, the body? definitely. We've got to keep it in the body as every other nation's doing the same thing except for us, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And you know, we, we have to build our family. That's one way we can build our society, our community, our family. We are all we got, so you know, we've got to utilize our skills within the body to build up the body. I definitely want to encourage everyone to do that. Any skills yep. you have, make sure you come to the body with it. Let's talk about it, let's put it on the table, and let's make it happen. Mm hmm 100%. So, what have you got in store for the future? For the future, just getting prepared right now, you know what I mean? At the same time, looking good. <laughs> but we are getting prepared for wilderness. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, anytime soon but who knows but we have to be prepared mm -hmm. because we know it's going to come according to scripture so let's not debate no more there's no time to debate no more let's get prepared and at the same time praise the Messiah keep the commandments stick mm -hmm. on the path in you sort of be a light to the Gentiles and at the same time look good we're going to look scruffy let's look good man come on mm -hmm. yeah. that being said is looking good the main thing that we should focus on? Nah, that's a trick question, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. No, no, of course, because you know that we, 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 you know, it's what's inside, not outside. We are due mm -hmm. inwardly, you know what I mean? As far as outwardly. So let's look like we are inwardly on the outside, if that makes sense, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's all about what's inside, spiritually with the most side. Make sure you stay connected, okay? Mm -hmm. Because don't forget, you know, our people were dressed in fringes and royal attire and still fell, you know what I mean? So make mm -hmm. sure you got to keep them commandments, keep them laws, man, and praise the most high, 100%. That's right. Definitely. 
Also, fam, make sure you check out the website. Um, I've got some, some great apparel on there for, for, you know, for the sisters, the brothers, for the children. Mm -hmm. um, www.designcentercarloid.co.uk. When you spell center, make sure it's ER. I was in the States when I was building this website. But anyway, so it's ER, center. And, um, you know, don't get it twisted from it's... Uh, my, my website actually is called... Um, um, a higher wear, okay. Don't yeah. get it twisted from um, I am apparel, which you must check out. That is our, 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 our general website for, for the whole world, and they've got some amazing um, apparel on there, so you must check it out. That's I am apparel, make sure you check that out, okay. All right, well, the water, and we appreciate you coming through and doing this for us. No problem, bro. Keep it in the family, man. Gotta keep it in the family with all we got 100%. All right, so Yasharala, you've been tuned into the GOCC UK, and we're gonna have more interviews just like this, and we're gonna have some some clips up, some photos of what you can what you can see from Carloid's collection, and we'll have the links on there as well, so that you can check out his garments online. Shalawam. Shalawam. Mm -hmm.